to my channel, Sunshine Shoulders. I'm Calvin. Thank you so much for stopping by today. Truly grateful. So many channels you could be watching, you're watching, man. Everybody has a plan for the Philippines until you get punched in your mouth. And I got this idea for this vlog because recently, a few weeks ago, a young brother from America was murdered in Santiago, Chile. This guy wasn't an amateur. He wasn't a novice. He was a world traveler, a lawyer, an asset to his community. And remember, I always warn you that we haven't come up with a solution for being in the wrong place at the wrong time. It's basically what happened to him. He was innocently taking some photographs. Three armed men come up, accost him, and shoot him to death. And I thought to myself, could this happen over here in the Philippines? Because Santiago, Chile has a reputation for their citizens being friendly and hospitable, just like the Philippines. Men have said, and I said, of course it can. You know, it's Murphy's Law in effect. But many of my viewers and subscribers have not one iota of the experience this guy has. Most of us, our plan doesn't go any further than this. I'm going to watch a few more videos on YouTube, sell everything, pack up and move over there. It seems so easy because they see guys like me and several others having success over here. But it's simple, guys, but it's not easy. Watching YouTube videos... It's just one part of the equation, a very, very, very small part of the equation. And because that's all we do, we're followers. And followers don't make it very far in the world. You have to be a leader, man, in your own life if you're talking about moving so far overseas. We're not talking about to Mexico. We're not talking about the Caribbean or the Caribbean, however you want to pronounce it. We're talking about moving all the way over here to the Philippines. So that's our plan. That's all we do. 99%, and this is no joke, of all the people who contact me, they say, yeah, I want to thank you for the information. I watch you and several other YouTubers. I'm ready to go. We don't do any other research, guys. That is a plan for disaster. We don't research the political climate. We don't even realize, hey, is my money going to be safe over here in the bank? Is my investments going to be safe? We can't even name the vice president of the Philippines. We don't research that. That's very, very important. Is it stable? You know, for, for many of us, and I'm going to let you in on something watching, we're fortunate that the Philippine government is stable over here. They have strong leaders and the people follow the leaders. But that's the only thing save you. You don't research the weather. You have no idea what the weather is going to be like where you're moving to. But you see somebody else doing it, so you think you can do it. Oh, it looks easy. Well, it's simple, but it's not easy. And everybody has a plan for the Philippines until they get hit in the mouth. We don't research the economy. We have no idea really what we're dealing with over here. How much is my thousand dollars worth over here? We have no idea. What's the cost of the electricity over here? We have no idea. We think that we can just watch YouTube videos. Guys, we're amateurs really. The people you see talking to you on these videos are amateurs. We're not government officials. We're not professionals or anything like that. We're giving you our boots on the ground experience. That's all. One thing I can say that you have at your disposal is the law of favorability. Because it's your first time coming over here. Look that law up. It's called the law of favorability. If you have a shot dice for before and the first time you, you always get lucky or you play cards the first time you get lucky that's the law of favorability 
I went to the casino one time and a lady had never shot the dice before. She was there to get married. It was Derby weekend. Her brother was there. Had come from the army in Hawaii. I was losing. I was down about a thousand dollars, which is a lot of money for me. This lady got on the dice and stayed on the dice over an hour. I've never seen anything before or after this. Her brother ended up winning fifty thousand. The guy sitting next to me from uh, Louisiana, who's there for the Derby, ended up winning eighty six thousand. I won about six thousand. And she had no idea what dice were. It was the first time she ever picked up a pair of dice. See, that's the law of favorability. And that's what saved me of us when we come over here. But that eventually runs out. But yeah, everybody has a plan for the Philippines so they get hit in the mouth. And they realize, you know, my plan's not strong enough. It, 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 there's, there's no depth. There's no substance to it. It's going to take more than YouTube videos. We move over here for the wrong reasons. And wherever you're going overseas. Let me remind you one more time. A woman is no reason for you to sell everything in your country and to move over here. It's not that easy. It's simple, but it's not that easy. And it's going to keep happening no matter how many times people like me remind you that's not a good enough reason to come over here. Because Cal, uh, yes, it's Calvin, why do people keep making the same mistakes over and over? Because we don't want to take any kind of direction. We don't, we, we're going to do it on our own. You know, the last video I made about, hey, I had to rethink this $1,000 a month a budget. I got so much push back on and these are the guys who are going to fail over here a lot of them never been over here a lot of them haven't even lived here long enough but I'm going to tell you why I made that up I did it I had about between 12 to 1400 I was taking care of 5 to 6 people but you have to understand that was during the lockdown guys when I was making those videos we couldn't go anywhere we couldn't do anything now it's opened up number one we can go anywhere we want Number two, inflation is over here like a gorilla, guys. It's up about 30%, okay? I buy the same groceries every week for my community pantry giveaway. It used to be 1000 1300 And now you're talking about taking care of somebody else. She has to eat. And let me remind you, I buy pads, I buy panty liners that I don't wear. So it's more money that I'm going to have to spend. That I didn't even plan for. But coming over here for a woman. It's no reason guys. It's no reason. And we don't do enough research about that. And we end up going. Back home. We don't bring enough money. It looks like it's. Easy to live over here. Wait till one of these floods. Hits your ass. Or you get caught in one of these earthquakes. Or one of these typhoons like I did. Remember I told you, when I got caught in that typhoon, and I had been here for almost, I, I had been here over three years. Shit, excuse my language. I started rethinking my whole situation. What in the world am I doing over here? So yeah, everybody has a plan for the Philippines so they get hit in the mouth. We need to think it all the way through. Yeah, watch the videos, guys. They're entertaining. They're informative. They inspire some people to come over here and give it a try. But it has to be more than that. Once that woman leaves your ass, or once you run into one of these uh, nat national disasters over here, or natural disasters rather, once you lose some money in one of these banks or something over here, then you're going to realize, man, simple to live over here, but it's not easy not easy at all and I just wanted to make this video today because watching YouTube videos is not enough man you got to do a little bit more research we're just very fortunate really when we come over here to the Philippines we put ourselves we put our lives in the hands of these people over here imagine this and this is what I'm going to talk about on my live stream on Sunday 
we move to the Philippines, which by the way, its citizens have the highest stress level of any other country in Southeast Asia. We move here to relieve our stress because raise your hand if you knew that. We have no idea we're jumping from the frying pan into the fire. You're moving into a stressful country trying to relieve your stress. You know why? Because you don't know what you're up against. You didn't research that. We know so little about what's going on over here. But like I said, I can tip my head. I can say the only thing going for you is to get over here, make the mistakes, and learn on your own. Then that way, when you come back, because you're going to have to come back. I didn't just come over here in 2018. This wasn't my first time. I came back 25 times, 24 times prior to that, 25 times altogether. Before I had a decent enough plan, a decent enough, uh, you know, knowledge of what I was dealing with over here. It's so little we know about the Philippines. And you're not going to learn it on YouTube. So thank you so much for stopping by today. Just a heads up. Let your plan have a little bit more depth to it. A little bit more substance. Research the political climate wherever you're going. Research the crime wherever you're going. Research it. Don't listen to me. Research the economy. How much is my money really worth over here? Is the cost of living really cheap over here? And if it is, is it worth me flying 8,000 miles for? What about the weather? They just had a 6.0 earthquake down in Davao. Again. And a lot of guys moved down there in that Davao region. It's the area that you're moving into is a flood prone. A lot of places here in St. Carlos City are flooded out when it rains. And it rains a lot over here in the Philippines. Don't move over here for a woman, man. I don't care. I, I said 10 times. You say, oh, you hypocrite. No, I didn't come over for a woman. I had a woman when I got here. Okay? It's not a good enough reason to move 8,000 miles from home. And more than likely, it's not going to work anyway. I don't know if we could ever have enough money, to be honest with you. Because those are the only two things we seem to be worried about. Do I have enough money and am I going to find a woman? You're barely scratching the surface over here, guys. Is your money even going to be safe in the bank over here? Do you really know that? Are you going to listen to me? Do your own research. Don't be a follower overseas, man. You got to be a leader over here. Because followers don't make it too far in the Philippines or in the rest of the world. So if in America is getting late, before you let your head hit the pillow, please find somebody to help. Find it in your heart. To help somebody today. I don't care what damn where you are. Those are the ones who make it overseas. The givers. Not the takers. Because if I don't know anything else. I know this one thing for sure. We help other people. We help ourselves. Take care. Stay safe. Stay COVID free. I'll see you next time.